<coughs> operating system developers, and then also the software developers. And I felt that as a software developer, there wasn't a lot of information out there, and uh, getting to know what software is there, and then also appreciation beyond the normal sort of accolades people get in forums and all those types of comments. So uh, I want to do a developer appreciation work. And uh, one of the challenges that I found is that um, some people don't appreciate appreciating other people. So uh, this isn't meant to sort of say you're better than someone else. It's really designed to uplift everyone. And uh, some of the comments online and, and from other developers were, I wasn't nominated. Why wasn't I nominated? There's a conspiracy theory here. There's no conspiracy. Um, the initial, this is the first year we're doing it. And I'd like to continue doing this. I think it's, a, it's an interesting idea. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I decided this year there was going to be for people to nominate developers. I opened up a development uh, nomination form on the uh, Emmy West website. People submitted names. I cataloged them in MovieBase. I found out that you can't query MovieBase the way you can uh, SQL software, but it works really well otherwise. Um, when people submitted uh, developers' names, I got their name and I got the software package the developers worked on. Uh, I would post that list of developers on uh, uh, Send Software. And then uh, before we flipped over to uh, the, the voting side, I went through and I looked at the release date for all the software. Now, I'm not going to say I was perfect. I do have a day job. I got a lot of stuff to do. Did the best I could. But that's why some of the names didn't make it all the way across. Because the rules were you had to release software between last Amy West and this Amy West. And then I started thinking about it. It's like, OK, the operating systems. Well, it's, there's big releases, but how do you nominate individuals? So uh, on the voting page, the operating systems did very well. It was a pick five from a list. Actually, how many people in this room actually voted? Okay. So it looks like we had about five, or maybe six. This is, this is actually the fundamental problem, is that when things are happening, we can't reach the community. There's no, we can't communicate to people to say, how many people saw it and didn't vote? Let me ask that question. One, two, that's two. So, the majority of people here didn't actually know they could go do this. And I think that's one of the challenges we have as a community is how do we get the word out? And I don't care whether it's AROS, more for us, and Migo S, whatever. Making sure the word gets out so people can evaluate what's there and, and make decisions. So I had about um, 110 pieces of software across, it's called 45 developers. Um, I went through every piece of software, figured out the release dates, uh, whittled down the list, put it in an online survey tool. Um, I used the free version that broke, so I had to give them money to actually get the stats back. And we had over 300 people voting. Um, I did check IP addresses, so if you were mildly clever, you probably could have cheated. The way the numbers were, it's not going to really matter. Um, there were a few people who decided they'd vote a few times, and that's what the delete button's for. So if you, you know you did that, I, I could catch you. Um, so looking at that at the top list, the goal was to identify top five developers and have the community nominate, community vote on top five, and then this group here, the people that actually get in their cars and spend their weekends with the rest of us uh, in Sacramento, uh, were going to be for the final vote. And so you'll notice in front of you there's a one vote. If you could collect the extras and not vote with those, I'd appreciate it. Um, <laughs> you, you certainly could, statistically, I think it's would be your own. Um, so the other thing I'd like to do is, is at this time to recognize the men and women, probably most of the men, but the men and women who are working to um, continue to push the operating systems for the things that make it interesting to have Amiga OS for Morph OS and Aero. So if we could give them a round of applause. This is for Tony. This is for all the people out there. That's the weakest. Come on. Dedication and hard work coming here would be less and less meaningful every year. But the fact that we come here and there are new operating system updates, Morph OS 3.3 was just released. Amigo OS <coughs> update 6 came out a few months ago. We've heard update 7 or perhaps 4.2. There's a future there. That means people typing away on their keyboards to make and to continue to push the Amigo ball forward. So, again, big thanks to developers um, of the operating systems. If you're a developer of software for the Amiga and you weren't nominated, please don't feel bad. We'll try to uh, make the nomination process a little bit more uh, pull, find software, as well as open it up for a longer time and hopefully reach more people. So, everyone has one vote. This is the way this is going to work. We have a buffet tonight. Thank you to the caterers. We appreciate that. Um, there's, uh, there's five cups and five names. If you could, and let me look at the clock here. 
um, vote before, uh, so it's, let's say vote before 8 o'clock. That's about uh, 30 minutes from now. Uh, the people who are in the top five, and this is the, the operating systems, uh, well, two, you can guess which two, were way at the top. And so I just kind of removed that because this is really to nominate individuals who are doing that work. And so the individuals who we have are, and, and I apologize if we get your name wrong, um, Fabian uh, Corduroy, who released uh, Odyssey Web Browser, MAME, MPlayer, a bunch of other software for Morph OS. Some of that has been ported over to Amiga OS as well. Uh, Andreas uh, Falkenhan, uh, who did the Hollywood and Hollywood Designer software. Um, uh, Afkil uh, Wintermark, who did uh, QT. If you're not familiar with QT, it's a very interesting project and driven a lot of new software. Uh, Simon Archer, who released uh, CodeBench and did a lot of work and was principal behind Andy Update. And then uh, Grigers Krzerzewski, who did uh, many software for, again, MorphOS, Appendate, uh, Reggae, which I believe is the music system, uh, Digi DigiBooster 3, uh, and uh, Lua Code for MorphOS. So the names are all written out in front of the cups. Um, you can look at the software they did just below that, put your vote in the cup, and then uh, at 8 o'clock I'll collect these. And then uh, after the club awards, uh, we can announce uh, which developer wins the first Emmy West Developer Award. So, without further ado, how do you want to do tables? Do you want to release? Well, you guys start. Right. Head, head, head table starts, and then we'll just start from that side of the room and go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all. Everybody always gets shortchanged depending on where you sit. Okay. So I thought since these guys never get to go first. <laughs> so, head table, please, please rise if you want to make your way to the cups and vote before you eat. That's fine. <clears throat> and I'd like to give Bill a big hand for doing this whole thing. Uh, he spent a lot of time, effort, energy, and money doing it. Thank you to, uh, I, I need to acknowledge uh, one guy right out of the box here, uh, because uh, without him, uh, behind the scenes, a lot of this stuff would not occur, this show probably would not happen, uh, and that is our uh, SAC Club member Chuck Washburn, please stand. <laughs> He is the master negotiator. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just kind of unbelievable. I have to learn from him, uh, but just uh, unbelievable. So what we do uh, at this point in the evening is uh, we give a few awards to people. Uh, we give uh, our uh, club awards and we also uh, uh, recognize uh, some other important people to us. And so I think what I'm going to do is start with those important people, uh, again, without whom the show probably would not go on. Um, and I'm talking about our sponsors uh, this evening. And, and in the past, we have recognized them with certificates. And this year, we have a new wrinkle. <clears throat> so uh, I am going to... Uh, present each of them with a medallion, which they can display, do whatever they want to with. And uh, <clears throat> so I'd like to start out with, uh, I'm going to carry all of these over here, with Stephen Soley from Hyperion Inc. Thank you, Stephen, for your sponsorship. <laughs> Matthew Lehman yes. for our sponsorship of the, of the show. <laughs> we also have a new sponsor this year that did not uh, uh, attend. Uh, Timothy Dieters, who is connected with the AROS community, uh, was our new sponsor this year. <laughs> and our gold sponsor for this year, Trevor Dickinson. <laughs> Many more reasons than just one. Uh, so uh, we thank you all, sponsors. Uh, again, 
this is one of the reasons why we don't have admission anymore. You don't have to buy a ticket to attend AMI West as we did in the past. And uh, so uh, thank you gentlemen for that uh, uh, benefit to all of us. And uh, because of them, uh, we can uh, you know, basically uh, pay for the venue and uh, be able to hold the show. So uh, we really appreciate your support. And uh, since there will be you know, on the AMI West 2014, we uh, hope that you will be on board next year as well. Now we have our club awards. And in the past, we have given club awards to people who are, were in our club, obviously, and who helped to support the show. And after a while, you know, we've gone around the club a couple of times. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, so, uh, and not everybody's gotten one yet, but uh, they will soon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, because, uh, in fact, let me have all the SAC members stand. Everybody who comes to SAC club meetings, please stand. Again, uh, lots of support from these guys, you know, they, they come and they do and they say, you know, what do you want me to do? And I say, well, whatever you see that needs doing, do it. Um, so uh, thank you all for committing your time, your effort, your energy to coming here and supporting Andy West. Um, one of our past members named Ken Barton uh, was, uh, you know, one of those club members who was always around, always helping, always doing something. Uh, and uh, he would hold meetings at his home. Uh, you know, he would do all kinds of things. And I believe he was treasurer, right? For how many years? Eight. Yeah, a long time. Long time? Okay, long time. Uh, and so we've named an award after him as uh, you know, being a probably organizationally supportive person. Uh, and uh, this year we have decided to give this award to someone who's not a club member. Um, he is also not here this evening due to ill health. Uh, and um, because of his support of the Amiga community, his support of our show online, uh, and also his, uh, his support when he's here, I think that all of you know Amiga Dave Morris, and he is the recipient of our Ken Barton Award this year. to send him his award, unfortunately. Uh, he was supposed to come to the programming conference and his back issues have prevented him from traveling so far. We also, uh, over the years, have um, you know, wanted to give an award to someone who was technically supportive in a technical sort of way, a technical role. Um, and again, uh, we've decided this year to give it to someone who is not a club member. Um, it's, uh, however, to someone who has uh, been quietly supporting Andy West for a very long time. Uh, as an active computer user, he has always been very enthusiastic about Andy West. He's been a positive voice for Andy West and the Sacramento Amiga Computer Club. He's a great classic Amiga fan. He's been instrumental in helping us to remember the events of Andy West through his independent and supportive activities. A show organizer himself, he is always helpful to us here at Emmy West. He always has positive input to offer regarding new ideas for Emmy West. And he was first in line this year to support Emmy West through his individual purchase of a banquet ticket mere seconds after the invoices went out. I mean seconds. Um, and his video talents are on display online through his Emmy West videos throughout the year for outstanding technical assistance and achievement to Andy West, he is, uh, uh, the John Zacharias Award for 2013, is presented to longtime Andy West supporter and participant, Robert Bernardo. Thank you. I'm not worthy. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> I'm sure that those of you who have seen his, his online posts and all of the video uh, that is online that, that documents Amulest uh, and helps us to remember what we've done here, which is a 
getting to be an increasingly important thing uh, as the years go on. Uh, thank you very much, Robert, and we really appreciate what you do.